Learning at home. Numeracy. There are many opportunities to have fun with numbers and measurements in our daily routines. As a parent, you can support your child in their learning of numeracy concepts by using your mother tongue. Numerical concepts, reasoning and mathematical logic transcend language. Follow your child's interests and use it to plan activities that stimulate logical and mathematical reasoning. You might be surprised when you realized how many things you already do are helping your child to learn about numbers, measurements, dimensions, distance, weight and volume. With a very young child, you can play with objects you have at home and sort them from largest to smallest. You can sort anything from bottles to pots and pans and socks and t-shirts. Get your child to identify the smallest and the biggest object and encourage them to explain why they gave that answer. You can also look for shapes when you go for a walk and play a game to see who can spot the most shapes. Start by showing your child the rectangular shape of your front door or your window and then encourage him or her to find others. On your next walk, tell your child that you are playing a game to see who can spot the most rectangles. Point at street signs, post boxes and other rectangles and keep counting them as you find them. Counting money is another important skill children can have fun with. You can play with coins, sort them and do addition and subtractions with them. Your kitchen table can become a shop too. Let your child choose what shop they would like to have. They can write a price tag for each product. Then you can take turns for who needs to be the shopkeeper and the customer. Use real coins and depending on the age of the child, you can also work on giving change. Cooking and baking are also a great way to develop mathematical reasoning. You may not be thinking about it, but when you cut food in equal parts, you are doing fractions. To talk about fractions, you can use food that has a round shape like pancakes, pizza or wraps or squares like chocolate or cheese. Before cutting the food, ask your child, how would you cut this in three equal parts? The following time, ask how they would cut it into four, five or more equal parts. When you are cooking or baking, get your child to help to measure liquids, weigh flour or other ingredients and figure out proportions. If you are using a recipe for four, ask your child to help you to measure ingredients for the same recipe for six or eight. You may wonder if it is better to work on numeracy in the language spoken at school, but the good news is that all the work you do in your mother tongue can be transferred to English, so keep using your native language and your child will greatly benefit.